Hi, I'm Jonathan Kraft, the founder and director of Keepers of the Wild. And you know, one of the most asked questions that we always get is, what do you feed your animals? Well, we're going to about to show you. We've got some film clips for you that'll explain exactly how we feed all of our animals and how we prepare. In the past, we have always struggled with the amount of food and where to get the food. We're in a very remote area. So we always had to drive to the city, several employees a week. They spent all day trying to gather all the food for all the different animals that we have. And then US Food came to the rescue. We made a deal with them that they from now on would uh, provide us with all of the food, with exception of course, our hoof stock, and I'll go into that later. But all of the primate, all the raccoons, uh, the camels, the capybara, the bears, the lions, tigers, and so on and so forth, is all fed now by U.S. Foods. And so they, uh, they alert us when they have a special deal on things, and then so we are now able to get all of our food fresh, which is for uh, human consumption, so it's top quality food at a decent price. So consequently, we're saving a lot of money. So today we are getting our weekly delivery. Uh, for our animal food. So all of our food uh, for our big cats, primates, and so on, all come through U.S. food. So usually we check all the food, you know, before we uh, put it in the coolers. So what is all this? So this is our U.S. food order. Right now we're gonna start with the refrigerated items. So it's gonna be our cheese and our yogurt. So we'll make sure that everything looks good before we put it away. And then we'll move on to the fruits and vegetables. We get those in the fridge on either side of the as well. Let's see. Well, so these are all tomatoes here? This is going to be romaine. So so we have to here, open yeah. everything and we check each vegetable individually and make sure it looks good. So we'll take all of these out and get it in the bin. We'll end up filling all of these up with everything. So we'll actually open all of these each and check them every single one. Make sure they look good. And we've got grapes. Those are all grapes? Yep. And everything's packaged really nicely. Nothing gets too much, so the grapes look good. We'll put these in the fridge. And what we do is we're gonna move the stuff that's already in there forward, and these are gonna go behind them, so we use the stuff that we already had first. So right now what uh, Luke is doing, he is uh, rotating all the grapes. That's what we had left over from last week. And so obviously we're gonna use those first. We buy our apples and our oranges and bananas all by the case, and, uh, because we go through an awful lot of uh, food. The only feed that doesn't come from U.S. food is uh, our hoofstock feed, which takes a variety of deer pellets and uh, alfalfa pellets and a wide variety of grasses. Fresh apples, these are our favorite to the monkeys, the raccoons. Uh, beautiful. So you basically do the same thing that they would do for human kids. Yeah. yeah. And then we also go through the bins during the week and rotate and try to see what we can move around in the fridges. So then here we have one of our refrigerators. As you can tell, this is still from last week, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have a smaller order this week because not everything was used last week. But generally it is. Last week they were actually late with the order because of the snowstorm that we have. So. Uh, this has actually been only about five days uh, since they've been here. This is Grace, of course, and she is looking after the food that's coming in. This is a walk-in freezer. As you can tell, we this is uh, different uh, hamburger meat that we get. And then uh, this is all beef. As you can tell, uh, wonderful beef. We keep about, about 6,000 pounds of meat on hand. 
These are all our turkeys. All of our turkeys are the same thing that you humans eat, as you can tell. And so we give them turkeys and, um, and of course, uh, lots of beef as well. And then on this side here is where we keep a variety of different foods, as well as seafoods for our raccoons and our bears like seafood. So that's all of this. Uh, this is cattleman's beef, as you can tell, stockyard beef. So uh, we keep a real good inventory.